Goal. Nice. Oh, what a block. Oh. Well, let's get straight into it. Um, late the ground. Right, hello everyone and welcome to this new video on the channel. So today is Tuesday the 16th of April 2024 and today we are heading over to Scrooby Road for game number 93 of the 23-24 season on the channel as we've got Central Midlands League Premier Division North action between Harworth Colliery versus Staveley Miners Welfare Reserves. So in today's video we've got my thoughts pre and post match as well as the match day vlog itself and because it's new ground on the channel this season we're going to rate the ground as well so without further ado Let's get into the video. Okay, so just before we get started, if we could just ask you a massive favour, if you could please like this video, let's aim for 20 likes on the video, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. That would be absolutely fantastic. But anyway, I think we should start with some pre-match thoughts. So I think the best place to start off here would be with the table. So today's hosts, Harworth Colliery, are currently in ninth place at 16 teams. In the Central Midlands League Premier Division North, where Staveley are currently sitting in sixth place. So it's kind of a nothing game, really, apart from Pride. Neither team are really in any danger of going down, but neither team are going to get promoted either. So as for previous results, um, Harworth had a bit of a hammering in their last match at Yorks Main, where they got beat by six goals to nil. However, that did bring to an end a six-game winning streak, which has been quite a turnaround, to be fair. They've spent most of this season in second bottom behind, um, in front of Glatwell. Um, kind of struggling most of the season, but they have put this really impressive win streak together, which has climbed them up to ninth place from 15th. So they're having a really positive end to the season here. So it's going to be interesting to see if it can pick up the form after that heavy defeat. And as for Stavely, their last game was a one-all draw with SJR Workshop. And it's fair to say it's been a bit of an inconsistent season, which is pretty much why they bang on mid-table. In my opinion, no real pattern to the results we've had. You know, several wins, several draws, several defeats in no real order. Um, so it's quite clear to see why they are in mid-table. So moving on to the previous results between these two teams then. So the reverse fixture was exactly one month ago at Staveley, where Harworth took a 1-0 victory. So I think that brings me on to my prediction for tonight's match then. So Harworth going to do the double over Staveley and get uh, their winning streak back on track or a Staveley going to get the away win my prediction is it's a bit of a like i say mid table nothing real to play for game but i think i was going to take this one uh, i think they'll have you know enough to beat stably and um, rectify that 6-0 defeat to yorkshire main so i'm going to go for how of colliery to stably miners welfare reserves nil anyway that is it for my pre-match thoughts then so I wasn't originally going to go to this game today. Uh, I'll be honest, my original pick was Matlock versus Gainsborough Trinity. However, someone did get in touch with me and they said it is Harworth's last home game of the season. And to be fair, I'm off to Alton Towers tomorrow, so I need a game quite local to Donny, so I'm not back too late for it. And um, half seen an excellent choice, to be fair. I've been wanting to go back down. I have visited once before, so it is my second visit. And I also used to play for the junior team, so... I always love coming back down to half, like I say, friendly club, friendly fans, friendly people who run it, so very much any excuse to get back to Harworth, I am going to take it, and it feels like too long since I last went back, so very much looking forward to this one. If you do have a suggestion of somewhere you want me to visit or where you'd like me to go for the channel, feel free to drop it um, in the comments or give me a message. I can't always get to all the ones you recommend, just you know, depends on rovers and other plans I've got, but I will try my best to visit that ground at some point but anyway that's enough waffling from me let's head on over to Scrooby Road and see how today's game goes
Oh, we can't do anything. We need to refer you to Hospital. So he's going to orthotics in a couple of weeks whenever he gets his letter. Until then, he's got to rest it. Orthotics is like a very special leg brace. Yeah. Especially with Wednesday fans at work, they have it. They're not having a good time. They're making bloody loads of them. That's on, I told you. I'm like, yes, Ben, you said six times. Oh, uh, we're underway. Oh, clearly that made possession. They both had a shot on target. Fancy plan. Yeah. They must have done that at the committee meeting yesterday. It fixed. Can't I just talk about continuing? Oh. And then we'll have oh. Barrow at Wembley oh. or a uh, crew at Wembley. Oh. Oh. But we were sunbathing. Then. Yeah, you don't mind, do you? They're in a chair while they did things that oh. weren't holding it. Oh, what a block! Oh, good ball. Goal. Nice. Ideally, a Barrow here ahead of the weekend. Yeah. Goalie, Barrow goalie, I'll turn it up. Oh! 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 oh. Jesus! Oh, oh, that's a football out, oh, right, very direct. Oh, that's him. I was saying, oh, if direct Stavel has just scored from a corner. Like a key by the Laken. Same way, you're on five grand a week. Oh, oh. Can't wait, I've got to have that Wait, time to blow for half time. Half time, one all. <laughs> Pitch invasion. Oh, spring of the second team up. It's reserves, he reserves. What has been still proud of him? Yeah. I love it. Did you ever play for a half? Yeah. 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 Oh. 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 oh, oh, good save. Yes. Nearly missed another from halfway line. It's two grand. You might end up captain if not careful. Do think there'll be any Dodger fans who raise more than you? Yeah, there is. I'll, uh, is it Lee? No, it's that uh, Rob Debenham. It's raining. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, oh dear. What? Somebody help him. Crack in the noses. Oh! 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 Keep her in one of those. <laughs> Ref's nowhere near it. Oh! <laughs> and bags continue. <laughs> Yeah, 
was like a shocker, innit? Yeah. Yay. It didn't matter how far back they were, did it, Rev? It still hit them. Finally. Even that took him 20 minutes. Extra <laughs> time. What time? What month? Yeah, yeah. You gotta be good. <laughs> right, so we just got back, and the final score was Harold Colliery 1, Stavely minus Welfare 1. And it was kind of your typical end of season, nothing to play for match. Um, not a classic, to be fair, but good night, nevertheless. But um, especially at the second half, there weren't really a great deal of chances. Either way, I think first half, both teams did have the chances. I thought Stavely probably looked better. In the first half, and to be fair, probably overall, I'd say, but they play. I thought they played the better football, but Harworth were quite direct. I thought, I thought, you know, they got the ball and uh, got it upfield quickly. And um, where Stavely, like I say, played it around pretty nicely. Um, chances wise, it was pretty even, I'd say, though, to be fair. Um, Harworth took the lead for a lovely uh, goal in the first half, for Stavely equalised through a header. Not long before half time, and then in the second half, there were very few chances either way. But to be fair, conditions did get a lot worse. Um, we even had some hail at some point, as you saw, and um, I think that made it quite difficult to, um, you know, play any sort of football, uh, especially with winds being quite high as well. So, kind of understandable, but you could kind of tell both teams didn't really have a lot to play for. Uh, we're just kind of playing for a bit of pride, and um, yeah, the game finished 1 all, but nevertheless, a good. Uh, down at half or it's good to be back and see the final home game of the season so anyway before i end the video let's get into rate the ground okay so it's time for rate the ground so if you are new to the channel what we do is for each new ground we go to this season we'll give them rating on five different categories so we've got pre-match catering the ground the atmosphere and the overall enjoyment for each we're going to get a score out of five a total score of 25 and then we're going to put them into a table of all the other grounds we've been to this season so today is the turn of half color it so without further ado let's get straight into it and rate the ground okay we'll start pre-match then so what is there to do before the match so we're non-league this is basically their clubhouse and half's got a lovely clubhouse to be fair there's lots and lots of pitches lots of like 3g pictures plenty of goals up for like the kids to play with as well and a lovely clubhouse with plenty of options of food and drink lots of crisps lots of beverages to choose from so yeah really really good in my opinion can't really complain so it's going to get a high score to start with we're going to go up with a four out of five next up we've got the catering and i didn't have any food today i had a kfc before the match um but i have had food here before and it's absolutely delicious really good prices like i say lots of choice inside and outside in the clubhouse um like i say two different uh bars inside the state stadium one serving hot drinks and food one serving alcohol and um souvenirs and merch and that sort of stuff and you have got the clubhouse on the outside as well so yep really good once again for catering so i'm going to go for a four out of five next up we've got the ground and like i say this is based on the level that it is which is step seven and it's a nice ground for step seven a really really good setup it definitely do well in a higher division um you know it's that type of ground it is you know well suited to it has played ncl football before and you know what look out of place in that division at all so pretty good overall it's going to get a three and a half out of five next we've got the atmosphere and like i said it's kind of an end of season enough to play for games neither team can go down neither team can go up so as you'd expect not really much atmosphere at all so unfortunately i'm gonna have to go low here i'm gonna have to go up for a one and a half out of five and finally, we've got overall enjoyment. It's been decent, to be fair. I love coming back to Harworth. Uh, but like I say, game weren't the best. Um, very mixed uh, conditions. Lovely first half. All sorts of weather. Second half. Um, and yeah, it wasn't too bad, to be fair. I'm going to go down the middle here. I'm going to go up for a two and a half out of five. So this gives Harworth Colliery a total score of 15 and a half out of 25, which puts them in 32nd place out of 51 teams this season. Level with a few on 15 and a half, however... The deciding factor uh, when teams have got the same score is overall enjoyment and half are bottom of that out of teams with 15 and a half. But 
nevertheless, you know, that's a pretty good score to be fair. They've got over half, which, like I say, you can't complain at at all, really. Really good facilities, like I say, is a um, good setup for the level they is at. And um, like I say, that is the end of their home games for this season. We've got another season at this level. I know they did apply for um, promotion to step six, uh, but obviously it's quite tight at the top with obviously Dern, Donny City, Dinnington. So it was going to be quite hard for Harworth to get it, even if they did finish in the top five. But like I say, hopefully next season we can push on a bit and really challenge to get back in the NCL. It would be good to see him in there again. But nevertheless, I am going to leave the video here for today. So thank you very much for watching. If you're new around here, please subscribe to the channel and like the video with being an old or new viewer of the channel. Also remember to follow me on my social media at Adam Gittings PT on pretty much everything. So the next match on the channel is going to be on Saturday as we return to the Eco Power Stadium. We've got Doncaster Rovers versus Barrow for Rovers last home game. And potentially, you know, <laughs> if we get the playoffs, um, if not, it'll be the final home game of the season. So until then, thank you very much for watching. Take care and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.